This is me in my school uniform in 1994. This is me now in my year 12 uniform, although the tie doesn't fit anywhere near as well as it did when I was at school. This typewriter was the first technology I used at school to do assignments, like the one you can see here. This was soon followed at the school by computers. This is my daughter at primary school. Her school had computer labs that look similar to this. This is my daughter now in her school uniform. She uses one of these at school in a classroom not dissimilar to this. Robert Baker in his paper Pedagogies and Digital Content in the Australian Schools Sector says Rapid and continuing advances in ICT are changing the ways that people share, use, develop and process information technology. However, research in Australia and the United Kingdom has also identified that while there has been considerable investment in infrastructure, digital content and quality teaching, only a minority of teachers and students are reaping the benefits of the information technology revolution. I believe when it comes to digital media in education, it doesn't matter what tools are used in the educational environment, the four basic principles of sharing, using, developing and processing are the same. So let us have a look at the uses of technology within the educational environment. And in doing so, let's look at the differences of the use of technology in the past, present and into the future. Manoranjan Dash and Yeshwanta Laha in their chapter entitled Integrating Online Learning and Knowledge Sharing Technologies into Management Education, a case study of B-Schools in Orissa, was that in today's digital economy, management institutions across the world were rapidly adopting the internet-based technologies for education purpose. Initially, the internet technology was focused around the consequences to provide distance education. This online learning technology was used to present course information and provide support to the students over the internet. It was held responsible for improving opportunities for student learning, thus breaking geographical barriers. Glenn Bull, Ann Thompson, Mike Searson, Joe Garofalo, John Park, Carl Young and John Lee in their article Connecting Informal and Formal Learning Experiences in the Age of Participatory Media suggest that the energy and creativity emerging outside the schools should be harnessed and linked to the academic enterprise within schools, but there are numerous constraints in school that presents these challenges. Uh, this includes school content must address specific learning objectives. Many of those learning objectives are subject to time constraints. Addition of technology can increase the complexity of classroom management. Schools are heavily invested in print technologies and often constrain internet access in ways that limit access to online media tools. Teachers have limited models for effective integration of media in their teaching. And only limited research is available to guide best practice. So what does this mean for educators and teachers in classrooms, in lecture halls, in schools? In Robert Baker's paper cited earlier, he suggests that technology use and the time it takes to use technology has not changed all that much over the last 20 years. However, just-in-time learning support is required if teachers are to develop effective learning activities for the use of digital content in online environments. Where to from here? Laurie Mack and Chris Jones-Diaz, Claire McLaughlin in their book Literacies in Childhood suggests over the last decade technology has developed by leaps and bounds. The digital world is upon us and teachers must engage not only with new tools but also with a new world view in which multi multimodal communication, not only words and pictures but sounds, logos and artifacts, is increasingly the norm. Young children and early childhood have become an important target market. They are teaching the digital natives who have been born into the digital world and their parents and teachers, the digital immigrants who grew up with other technologies, 
must develop the skills to teach children to seek, sift, assess and to use information. <laughs>